don't you just hate it when somebody does something really nice for you, but they go about it in completely the wrong way? you kind of torn, you know, like, you, you, you want to praise them, but at the same time you want to hate them. And you don't really know which one of those feelings you should lean on. It's like, ah, oh, that's so sweet. Or, oh my god, I can't believe you just done that. You know? It's like, which way do you go? Which 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 feeling do you lean on more? I kind of feel that way about the unit I'm going to be reviewing here. Uh, but first things first, legacy. Um, Aegis kind of sucks. Don't have it. They tried to fix it in G Generation and just... Yeah, it still sucks. Damage ain't that great. Cooldown and attack speed, not that great. Uh, boost duration, it's a scissors. Just just not feeling it. It had the potential to be good. Now, they've they fixed some things like, ooh, they fixed the animation. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. They they still haven't gotten it right. You know, It just could be amazing and just... You know, it, what it needs is it, it needs, like, melee, beam rifle, melee. And then you transform. Not a stun. Like, why would you have a stun on there? I, I don't I don't, I don't don't like stuns. And the stun only goes out to medium range. It does nothing for me. So, like, it just kind of has the potential to be good, but they kind of need to change. Or they need... They, it needs updating, at least. Um, Justice Gundam. Underrated. Not bad. But just underrated. Um... It's it's one of the more difficult S ranks to get if you're going through the quest. That is, if you go through the quest streak, it has a tendency to be really annoying, and it's probably one of the most annoying quests you have to deal with. Just okay. Um, that being said, it's not a bad S rank. It's 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 a low powered S rank, but you don't see many of them floating around PvP mode unless it's for like Talols or something like that. Um. The only problem I have with it, really, is that the Vulcan guns here actually are Vulcan guns, and they should be machine guns. Like, you would think machine guns would come out of the turrets here and here, and they'd come out of the shoulders, but no. Like, those would be machine guns, because those are more powerful, but no. It gives you machine guns. Or, it, I'm sorry, it gives you Vulcan guns, which are these little itty-bitty things here on uh, to the side of either cheek and, and by the way, it's kind of ironic though because Justice Gundam actually has four Vulcan guns located in the head and yet it behaves like it only has two the damage isn't that great I and I hate the like like I don't even care about the damage because Vulcan guns are Vulcan guns but I wish it had longer range there are very few S ranks that have Vulcan guns which are the shortest range projectiles um, and do very very little damage and this kind of needs a little more than that. Um, if anything, I wish it have had a case where it's like a six-shot machine gun. Not a Gatling, necessarily, but a machine gun. It has the longer range and heavier hitting, and it comes from one, two, three, four, five, six locations. You know, that that would be nice. So, Justice Gundam overall, not bad. Underrated, but not bad. Justice Meteor. Um, one, of the, one of the high higher... Not higher rank, necessarily, you know, SS rank. Um... I don't get to see it very much in use, and I don't, I don't get to play with it very much. I like it because it has, um, if I have to use melee, it's got one of my preferred combinations of melee, homing weapon, melee. I, I actually prefer that in the one mode. And then, oops, I accidentally purged it, um, it's actually good in the alternate mode as well, because it's got melee, beam rifle, homing. And the reloads on all three, well, the reloads on these two, just fine. No worries there. So, Justice Meteor, very much worth getting. Absolutely, I love that thing. I just don't use it very much. Um, Infinite Justice. Infinite Justice, uh, arguably one of the top units throughout all of SDG, even to this day. It's but on the old side, it's about what five years old, something like that. Uh, at least in Korea, it's it's about five years old, but still very powerful unit, very 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 powerful. Uh, it's it's a shooty rock, which is why people consider it OP. Why people consider it so powerful? It's got some good skills attached to really really nice all around overall stuff. Well, the new unit that I'm going to be reviewing, the Infinite Justice Meteor, more or less the same thing. Very, very powerful, but people don't seem to complain as much about this one. Uh, it's balanced fine the way it is, 
And yet, for whatever reason, it's a shooty rock. It's got a lot of ranged weapons, but it seems to balance it out by having a lot of melee weapons. So, you know, people don't complain too loudly, and I'm not quite sure why. Arguably, Infinite Justice is now the most powerful unit in the entire game. It doesn't matter who's using it. It's just power. Hmm. Honestly, I was expecting more. For an S SR rank, I was expecting more damage. That's about the same as what the regular Justice does. Oh well. Maybe that's why people don't complain about it too much. It doesn't hurt too much. And yes, this is a K-down. Or, uh, sorry, this is a one-hit knockdown. So, uh, of course, because these Zaku drones, for whatever reason, don't knock down on the, on the first knockdown attempt. Uh, yeah, so... That's just a quick knockdown, whatever. That doesn't do much damage either. Well, it, it does a good amount. There's, I, I think it's more meant to be counter melee. Just bam. And that's it. Alright. Please be a dash. Please be a dash. Nope, it's just a combo. Darn it. I wanted a dash. Well, the dash is in the regular uh, Justice Meteor, so... Hmm. Yeah, see right there. You you could, if if they have an anti flinch or something like that, you can just hit them once and then hit them with a regular, and then it'll go down right away. So good to know. Hey, look, an anti flinch that can knock down another anti flinch. Yay! So if you want to do a combo, you're going to start with one. Go to the, well. See, this is a boost down, right? What's this? Okay, so you start with that. You switch to this. You go to the, you, yeah. See, so you start with. See, how does this work? I think you want to start with three because it's no, not even that. Let's see, because th this is a pure melee mode, which means you can hit. Uh, you can do an eight-hit combo with it. There we go. Okay, so it, so it'd be one, three, one, two. It's probably how you're gonna get the most amount of damage out of it. And to spec. Hmm. Alright. Whatever. Not worth it. Not <laughs> worth it! No, seriously, I think very little of the, uh, the SRF-91. It just kind of, yeah, it's there. Like, you want to be able to long-range spam, and you just can't. Okay, so in both modes, you never know which weapon's selected. You never flinch from the weapons. Especially between 1 and 2. And, uh, you never know which one you're going to select. Okay. Okay. Wow, it says long-range, and it's definitely not wrong. Long-range. But it does penetrate, and it does, uh... That's disappointing. Why would they call that long? Why don't they just call it medium and get it over with? Well, it has okay damage, I guess. Whoa, is that four beams? Stupid wings are getting in the way. Oh yeah, it's a four shot. Interesting. Crap, I can't cut it out. No. That's crap. That is not long range. Cooldown takes forever. Seven shots. Actually, it might be more like eight shots. That cooldown's terrible. Like the attack speed, whatever, but that cooldown's terrible. Okay. Presumably, weapon one is a knockdown. Presumably. Hmm. Do 
three volleys. Wow, now that's more like it. Look at the damage on that drone on the right there. That was all three of them. Wow. Hmm. Oh, it's a scattering beam gun. Yeah, so eight shots on weapon two. It's really annoying. That's these are not long range weapons. Like they call them long range, but they barely go out to visual range. It's kinda stupid. Didn't we do the melee already? You know, if I have to empty my clip in order to kill a C rank on this thing, something's seriously wrong. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a scattering effect. Well, as in, it has multiple beams going out. But that's kind of its weakness, is that you might be able to hit with just one beam. Let's see if I can do it here. Yeah, one beam barely does anything at all. Barely. It isn't even registering. Yeah, so, I mean, all four beams... Yeah, I disagree with that. That, that should... That, okay, drop the ammo, in, or lower the ammo, um, increase the reload rate, and increase the damage. It stands right now. <laughs> so that's why people don't bitch about it too much, is because the damage that it has versus the out or versus the reload stuff doesn't match. So that's why people don't complain so much. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is an SR rank. It should be the most powerful, or the most powerful weapons, the most powerful weapons, and it just doesn't. Even the melee seems to let down a little. Is that just me? And, and, and keep in mind, keep in mind, if I'm d disappointed with the amount of damage it's doing to C, uh, C ranks, imagine how poorly it's going to do against S ranks, you know. Whether or not these are long-range weapons doesn't matter. God, that cooldown's awful. Eight shots, look at that. God, I had to empty my clip. Now those, now these Ekutus obviously have long-range immunity. Whatever. Okay, fine. That's all well and good. But these are C ranks with long-range immunity. That's a hell of a thing right there. All right, anyways. Still can't outrun the SR Sananju, which is kind of the standard to stand up to. Well, that's a good guy, so I guess he's not allowed to boost that far. Hmm. Well, at least it boosts longer in the melee mode, where it counts. Hmm... Ranged mode needs some work. You know, I almost want to do a generic attack up on everything. I might go for an attack build, just because I'm not worried too much about defense on this right now. Although I do have it on, on good authority that the shield, it doesn't have a shield in back, but it does have a shield to either side and the front. So I've already used this once in PvP with some with some Okami members, and we, we tried it out. So it, for whatever reason, you know, the, the biggest hunk of armor and machinery doesn't have a shield in back but instead has it in the front where there's absolutely no shielding whatsoever Ex explain that one to me uh, uh softmax please like shields on the sides okay but why does it have a shield in the back i don't get that that's why it's the most powerful unit without people bitching about it Ugh, this thing needs some work And the cooldown in the cooldown on this weapon too is pretty damn bad. It just takes forever. You could spam and spam and spam, and it's just not firing. The only thing really good that I'm not complaining about at all is weapon one here, because it does good damage, and weapon three here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm almost liking the regular Infinite Justice compared to the Meteor version. Okay. Um. Well, I got to do something about that cooldown. Cooldown happens. Where does that cooldown happen? Um. Hmm. My my off my rocker. Where is it? Wait, what? Oh, okay, maybe maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Okay, my bad. There's the cooldown. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be adding those. Um, let's see, five and three. Five and three, five and three. Okay. So... Obviously this reload rate. No, I'm not worried about the reloads in that mode. Um, homing missiles. They're good where they are, but I am worried about the long range more so. So I kind of want to leave that open. Increase defense. Wow, it's only a two slaughter. Okay, we need to we need to change this. Eighty. Uh, I can rack this. I'll expand it. Just because I don't use these expansion things very often, I can do it right now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, but I still won't be able to apply them. All right. So this, 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 and if I can get to it. Probably this thing. Now, unfortunately, the attack ra the attack rate doesn't need fixing. It's the cooldown that needs fixing. I also said I wanted a generic attack up too. So I actually let's see. I might want to do this in attack type instead. Would be really be nice though because this is an SR mobile armor. Technically, is I'd stick this on there because it's got anti flinch on it. I I've been thinking about it. The only unit you really want to worry about putting this onto, this particular custom part onto, is units that have anti-flinch. That's kind of sort of the only thing you want to put this onto, because the only units where you have to worry about getting, like, units that are not, not defensive units, although ironically this is included in a defensive type, but you want to stick it on mobile armors because you don't worry about me units meleeing you. You don't have to worry about that. They'll come up to you, sure. And, you know, sometimes you'll have the whole team run at you with melee, and that's all well and good. Um, but generally speaking, on an anti-flinch unit, you don't... They know, you know, if they've been playing long enough, the player, your enemy, knows you're in an anti-flinch unit. So they're not going to approach you, at least not outright, because they know you can just spin around and start hitting them. So... You're not going to be worried about melee too much. Bullet zero, yes. Uh, boost down, yes. And blah, blah, blah. But not melee. The only time they're going to charge at you is when they have a full SP waiting. So you want to put this... Oh, okay, I'll even back down further than that and just say anti-flinch units in general. So, you know, God Gundam and Master Gundam and, uh, you know, uh, Valvaro. You know, those are going to be units you want to use this on because you don't have to worry about melee units. Like I said, melee can come up to you and they can try and knock you down, and sometimes they do succeed if you're not paying attention. Um, oh, certainly if you have to worry about that Sandra Custom with the Weapon 1. Whew, that thing's creepy. But, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be using this too much. Uh, on this unit, it would be good to use it, but in the, in the case of the Infinite Justice Meteor, that's not a priority for me in terms of things I need to fix. If anything, I think I'm going to leave that alone, the extra 500 HP. So I think for the moment, I'm not going to do anything defensive on this. Let's see, reload rate. That was an issue. That's an issue. Um, see, I wanted to put the cool down. Well, let's see. Okay, I'll just be nice to myself. That. Reload rate. Attack up. And then... The right medium, long range medium. Um, 
yeah, I'll leave the missiles alone. I, I think they'll be okay. Uh, just because I need to fix the cooldown and the reload on the long range stuff. So I've got a generic, you know, attack up. That'll be good. What's this do? I still do know no penalty when full burst special attack is used. What is full burst special attack? Does that mean is that a specific type of special attack? Enhanced ranged special attack. Is that what it is? This only applies to ranged special attacks? No, it says full burst right there, and yet the other one says ranged special attack. So, wait, wait, wait. like, full burst makes no sense, but a ranged special attack makes sense. So, does that mean this only applies to a ranged special? Range SP, is that what it? I don't know. Um, this doesn't have a range spec on it, so... Oh, yes, it does, actually. It does. Um, so, yeah, that would be the combo I'm, I, I think I'll go with. And I don't see much point in, like... I kind of want to... Yeah, extra 500, that's that's usually a good thing to put onto, well, just about any unit can do with having the increased, def or the increased uh, HP on it, so no worries there. Yeah, I think this is what I'll do. That's, that's what I would recommend right there. So I'd actually go for an attack type. You see, I don't always go defensive type, because usually it's like it needs that increase in defense, or I really suck at something, so it needs that extra defense. But in this case... I'm 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 concerned less with the defense and I'm concerned more with the performance of the ranged mode. Now, it says close range attack, but let's keep in mind half the weapons on this thing are ranged weapons. So, I'm more concerned about that at this point. And lest you forget I'm putting a generic all all uh, weapon attack up on it. So, I'm kind of covering the melee and the ranged at the same time here. So, that's why I'm going with this build. I just gotta level up to level 10. How much would that take? 3,000. Who knows what the next one is? Okay. And the skills, we've all seen this before. Sh phase shift armor, which ironically you would think it would be variable phase shift armor because the infinite justice comes after all the others. But on the other hand, variable phase shift armor doesn't do anything in this game. It just, you literally just change the name. Variable phase shift armor and phase shift armor. There's no difference between them. The percentages are the same. The activation, well, act actually, they're always active. Um, and, and just how much damage they reduce, it's identical. The only difference between them is literally the name. And that's it. So, bitch, bitching over there. Neutron Jammer Cancer EX, the Infinite Justice Gundam had that already. So, booster capacity, um, search distance, display opponents on radar. Oh, that was something else that I was concerned about. Let's see. Um, well, it says lo increase long range uh, by 200 points, or whatever, two, yeah, I guess it's two points, is that how you say it? So yeah, these these are called long range, I don't believe it, I, I no, they're not, they're medium range, they're, 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 like, they call them long range, but that just means they do less damage, I think these should have been medium range, and I think they're, like, no, they... Like, one of these should have been long-range. Probably this knockdown cannon. I think it's a knockdown. This should have been long-range. But, you know, let's actually make it go out to long-range. That would be kind of nice. This thing is a scattering gun. It goes to the edge of long-range. It goes just beyond visual range. Okay, I can live with that. But this definitely should have gone beyond visual range. I'm disappointed there. Uh, hopefully, you know, five, or 200 p increased range will actually help it out. Um, so that was something else I disliked. I'm guessing the shoulders, the shoulders, and one of the one of the engine pods. That's my guess. Yep, no surprise there. And then when you transform, obviously it's exactly the same. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the Strike Freedom Meteor, you can't paint up the Meteor unit. But you can paint up the two regular Meteors, which was weird. At least I don't have to worry about it carrying that shield and that bloody... Like, much as I praise uh, Beam Boomerangs in this game, um, I don't like the fact that the, it forces you to keep the pink. So, I don't think I'm going to have enough Dark Blue for the... Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I told you that you're not going to be able to paint the meteor. Okay, and this is pretty darn close to what I already have. I 
guessing the dark parts. Nope. Um, I think I did that. I think. Yeah. So in other words, you can paint it up exactly the same as you did your your regular. I say regular. You could paint this up the same as your Infinite Justice, which is nice. So okay. Um, range mode kind of lets it down, and uh kind of attack overall was a bit disappointing the cooldown on those on that 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 mini or that yeah right not, yeah medium range cannon the attack uh the, the cooldown the attack speed yeah whatever goes out to long range and it's a scattering gun but the cooldown is awful just awful so that that definitely needs some work right there so you're gonna have to get this up to level 10 before you can actually kind of finish things off chance of critical attack omnidirectional Omnidirectionally. Is that even a word, OG Planet? Or is that something you just pull out of your ass? Chance of critical attack omnidirectionally. That that means nothing. So does it mean you always get critical hits? I, you know, maybe if you ran a unit with this this skill on it, you might be able to find out, Avis. But but yeah, omnidirectionally is I'm pretty sure that's not a word. I'm pretty certain. Um Yeah, like I said, the majority of the things I'm worried about. This is a shooty rock. Despite the fact it's got a a, a pure melee mode. The other, the other mode is nothing but ranged weapons, and that's kind of the thing I'm more worried about at this point. Boost duration, um, it's fine where it is. Boost speed, it's fine where it is. Actually, I'd probably do... I'd probably, rather than increasing the duration, I'd probably increase the speed. But like I said, my kind, kind of my concerns are more about the ranged mode. If you're going to be boosting at the top of the map at 50% HP, these get to be kind of important at some point here. And I don't really see any way of rotating the weapons so that you always have ammo available. I mean, your spamming weapon is going to be weapon two. That's your primary spamming weapon, I guess. And the cooldown on it is, is pretty damn bad. So, um, is it worth it to get this? It is, and yet I'm kind of disappointed by it, and I'm wondering if... I almost want to say Strike Freedom Meteor is more worth it. Just because the variety of the weapons, you can keep them rotating. Um, the, un unfortunately, the Jesus Yamato cultists would love to hear me praising a Jesus Yamato unit. Um, I like the Infinite Justice... Uh, this version of the Infinite Justice, not n not necessarily. I would say there are other S ranks that can do it better. There are, there are other S, certainly other SRs that can do it better. I think Strike Freedom Meteor is probably the better bet of the two. Um, this, you get the good melee, um, you know, obviously, so that's that's going to give the, the melee enthusiast a bit of a boner there. But in terms of ranged firepower, Strike Freedom Meteor is always going to outdo it. Um, even though, you know, I've got my own quips about the uh, Strike Freedom Meteor. You know, it's all, it's almost like like I was, I was slightly disappointed with the Strike Freedom Meteor. Now here I am slightly disappointed with the Infinite Justice Meteor. And yet the regular Infinite Justice and the regular... Strike Freedom Meteor, I didn't dislike them very strongly. So, it, it I don't want to say I'm not recommending the two SRs, because they... Well, maybe I am. I would, I, I, I would say Strike Freedom Meteor is probably the better way to go. It's just more flexible in terms of ranged weaponry. Uh, it's, it's not the best. As a matter of fact, they nerfed it recently, which was kind of stupid. But, um... Infinite Justice Meteor, if you have to get them, get them in the order that they appeared in the series, which means Strike for a Meteor first, and then Infinite Justice Meteor to, if you have to get it, go ahead and get it. So I know that's not a very strong recommendation. I don't know. I can't figure out why it is this is considered the most powerful unit in the game. I'm, I'm like, I almost want to put um, Double O Riser up against this. Like, you know, two skilled players who can run both units very well. I almost want to put the two up against each other and have them swap, you know, two battles in. Uh, you know, two two battles in in in, in the, the one units and then two in the other and just see which one they thought was better. Just kind of watch the outcome of that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm not putting a strong recommendation into the 
uh, Infinite Justice Meteor. Yeah, like honestly, I'd rather I'd rather go for this one. So I'd rather just okay, whatever's. This is Ava Unit 4A saying thanks for tuning in. We're not recording right now, right? Nah. I like how its beam sabers are look bigger than most Gundams. Yeah, no kidding. Well, that that's that's because they are. Keep going. By the way, at any time you hit me, did that say guard or did it say criticals? Said guard most of the time. Really? It still has the shield on the back. Hit me again. Hit me again. I want you to. So let's say guard or shield. Or guard or critical. It's okay if you answer. You gotta press the button. Sometimes it was saying guard, sometimes it was saying... I mean, during that it only it said complete critical, so I think you're shielded in some spots, but not others, I guess? You might have been hitting my, my, my side shields. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so just go ahead and stand still, uh, and I will do my thing. I gotta wait for these things to disappear. So, lucky us, we have a guest punching bag today. It's Godzilla Wolf, the newest member of Clan Okami, and he has volunteered to have the shit beat out of him. Wow, that's... For an SR, I was expecting more. Although, it occurs to me, I usually beat up C ranks, so you know, may maybe that's normal, and I'm totally not remembering. So, anyways... A one-hit knockdown, which does the same amount of damage. Oh, I hope this is a dash. I hope this is a dash. Nope, it's a combo. Why does this not have a dash on it? I don't get that. It's not even a dash, it's a com- why, why, why? Hmm. Okay, whatever. I can't select my special. <laughs> uh. Shit. Four one and one. Yeah, my, my, yeah my, I can't select my spec. It won't activate. Oh, because I, I was just going to lay into you right there. Uh, do, you think my, do you think maybe if I um, let you respawn, I might fix it or not? Should I try that? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Ava, I can't... Yeah, yeah, I forgot to hold down the button. Just, you know, kill me. That's loud. This is so stupid. Why? Did that fix anything, or did it just... Nope, it's it's the server. God damn it. So basically, we're going to have to wait until the time runs out until yeah. I get next round. I hope it's not, like, glitched or something like that. I'll be pissed. Like, I, I just want I just want to, I just want to see the spec. <laughs> and you can't select it in the alt mode, either? No, I won't let me. This is so annoying. Yeah, um, they mess stuff up all the time.
You know, there's a ton of different servers. This is the only server we got, which is sad. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in, in Korea, I think they do the same thing. I don't play Korea, so I don't know, but I'm under the impression they all play on just one server. But yeah, this, this is not Minecraft. No, it's not. Let me build up my... Should we let you get your spec... Yeah, yeah, let me build my yeah, spec right away. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. so do I get my kill first, in it, or what? Um... I, I think I'm going to throw away this match just to see if it even behaves itself or not. Wait, it's weird to combo. I have to reach for the third weapon, not weapon two. Softmax, or er, yeah, Softmax, you pussies. You know, my infinite justice hits harder with weapon one than this thing does. God, this is so annoying. Nope, nothing doing. I can't activate the. Ah. Uh, maybe you should relog. Yeah, I'm gonna crash it here. It refuses to activate altogether. And what's even weirder is the simple fact that I've been specced by a infinite justice meteor in matches recently, so I don't know why it would do it now. Yeah, like I know it exists. God damn it, it's not activating. What is this shit? No, ironically for a change it was not OG Planet's fault. What's weapon four? Uh oh that's the spec. Did you see the new episode? Dude, you need to watch that. That episode's amazing. When is when is Build Fighters not amazing? Let's be honest. When is Build Fighters not amazing? Well, this is like an amazing episode among amazing episodes. So. It was melee and it was great, huh? There we go, now it's working. Goddamn cool kid. You see, th this is why I don't want him getting in here, because shit like this happens. His keyboard is range different from mine, so... God damn it. I'm kind of glad I changed the password, and I should have known better than to trust him five months ago with that shit. Ugh.